When I saw the story unfold, I thought of the words of Nietzsche, life without music would be a mistake. And this was indeed an orchestration being played out because the violins were Machiavellian, but the piano was innocent. Jack, like the piano, was the innocent part of the composition, but he had a major flaw. He lacked confidence, which resulted in him being easily influenced. Sam, on the other hand, was like a Machiavellian violin with a Shakespearean tongue. Sam sniffed the scent of impulse and uncertainty of Jack from across the room at the annual party. Sam used his superficial wit and Jack felt his confidence surging in his company. To be or not to be Jack, he finally said, that is the question. He topped up Jack's glass with gin and maintained eye contact, knowing that before the night was over, he would have made the financial kill of this uncooked lobster. Sam, looking like a handsome Albert Camus, was in reality a modern-day Claudius. Jack sensed he was swimming with sharks, but he did not understand that he was a docile lobster in comparison. Unbeknown to Jack, it was not a question of whether the shark would bite, but when.